Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this simply supported beam with different kinds of the load and moments. So this is a simply supported beam of total length of 8 meter and it is being supported by hinge support here and rear support at point B. And there is a uniformly distributed load of 2 kN per meter acting over the distance of 2 meter. And also there is a moment acting on the beam at a distance at a distance of 4 meter from this end B and also 4 meter from this end it means this moment acting at the center of this beam now to analyze this beam let's suppose here is the support reactions are A it is a hinge support so it can take the vertical and horizontal reaction and also here is B so it will be RB the reaction provided by this support will be RB so to find out RA and RB we can, we can use the equilibrium equation and starting with the first equilibrium equation the let's suppose summation of moment at any point equal to zero and we assume that summation of moment at point A equal to zero here and let's suppose the clockwise moment is taken as positive and the anti-clockwise moment is taken as negative so the first load that creates moment uh, we should know also the moment is equal to the force into moment arm and to find out the moment at point A so the first load that creates a moment about point A is 2 kN per meter this is distributed load if you multiply this load with 2 so if you multiply 2 kN per meter is the load multiplying it with the 2 meters so meter meter will cancel we will get 4 kN now this is the concentrated load acting at the center of this distributed load 4 kN here now. So this is the way how to convert the distributed load into pointed load. You should multiply this distributed load with the length over which it is distributed and then you will get the pointed or concentrated load and it will act at the center of the load distribution. So this 4 kN now acts at the center which means it acts at a distance of 1 meter this is true total total is 2 meter so here it will be 1 meter from this end so this load is now 4 kN is acting at the center of this load so it is at 1 meter distance so 4 4 is the force here and moment arm is 1 meter the second force that creates moment about point A is this 5 kN per meter a 5 kN into meter this is this is the moment because as we can see from the units it is kilonewton which is the force unit and it is meter which is the moment arm unit so it means it is the external moment acting on your beam so it is again acting in the clockwise direction so it will be taken as positive so 5 here and then the next load that creates a moment about point A is this load RB and it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction about point A so it will be minus RB multiplying it with the moment arm the moment arm is the distance from this B point up to point A which is 4 meter into 2 meter into 2 meters so the total is 8 meter. Summation of moment at point A equal to 0. Now if you shift this value to the right side we get 8 RB becomes 4 plus 5 and 8 RB comes out to be 9 kilonewton. And if we divide this by 8, so Rb comes out to be 9 divided by 8, it comes out to be 1.125 kN. So this is the Rb here, 1.125 kN. Now to find out the Ra, so summation of vertical forces equal to 0. The upper forces are taken as positive and the downward forces are taken as negative. So upper forces are Ra, it is acting in upper direction and Rb is acting in upper direction. Minus the downward force acting is this 2 kN per meter which we convert into pointed or concentrated load which is 4 kN so 4 kN is acting downward so by this if we shift this value to the right side so it will be 4 minus Rb and Rb we know that 4 minus 1.125 is the value of Rb here so Ra comes out to be here 2.875 kN here Ra is 2.875 kN. So this is the way how to find out the support reaction for any type of beam by using the equilibrium equation either moment or vertical equilibrium equation. 
Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.